On my recent trip, I got a chance to visit with Chef Violet Oon at her restaurant, and she shared some of her treasured family recipes. Chef Violet made a pom bakwa with pengat sauce. This inspired me to reinvent crepe Suzette. Crepes are fantastic because you can make them ahead of time. I have equal parts flour and milk, along with a touch of sugar, a little vegetable oil, and two eggs. Give this a little whisk. One of the reasons I compare crepes to Chef Violet's Apom Bakwa was that she let the batter rest before she actually made the pancakes. You need to do the same with crepes. So I'll pop this in the fridge for an hour to rest before I add my final ingredient. Here's the batter after an hour of resting. And remember how Chef Violet's pancakes had those bubbles break through the surface? Well, my secret to tender and light crepes is adding soda water. The bubbles really contribute to the tenderness and actually have the crepe hold up so when you put a nice sweet sauce on it, it holds together. So I need 125 ml of cold club soda. All right, now it's time to make the crepes. Making crepes is one of those activities that's a little bit hypnotizing. I love the repetition of the task. With each crepe, you get better and better at it. It only takes about a minute to 90 seconds to cook a crepe, then you flip it just for 10 seconds on the other side and then remove it. So now it's time for the fun part, taking inspiration from mm. Chef Violet's sweet pangat sauce with the bananas and adding that to what I know and love, crepe Suzette. I'll just finish portioning up some butter, 60 grams. I've got a heavy bottom pot, and I'll heat that on high heat. Violet used gula malaka to sweeten her sauce, but I'm using granulated sugar and caramelizing it to get that great flavor. I'll just add a splash of water. When you're caramelizing sugar in a flat pan like this, it doesn't take too long. Once your sugar is an amber color, then you add your butter. Once the butter has melted, then I add my fresh diced pineapple. Let the juices of the pineapple cook into the caramel. The caramel flavor cooks into the pineapple. Mm. Squeeze in a little fresh lime juice and just a touch of vanilla. Mmm, that smells fantastic. Now traditional to crepe Suzette, you want to warm your crepes in the sauce. So I fold my crepes into quarters, drop it into the liquid, swish that crepe around to fully coat it, and warm it through. I'll spoon some of the warm pineapple in the caramel sauce over the crepes. And of course, <gasps> a little spoonful of vanilla ice cream. The finishing touch. A little pop of color. I love the purple color that Violet added to her apom bakwa. It just makes it all come together. So there it is. My inspiration from Violet's dessert, Crepes Anna. It is very much like a tropical version of Crepe Suzette.